can be a better girlfriend than the ones in the video game. The ones in the video game. The inspiration for Harry Potter, um, well, yeah, that's a good question because um, it, it maybe it was a bad idea to start off the record with me occupying the, the mindset of a young or somewhat 17, 18 year old teenage girl talking to her pothead boyfriend. Um, and, uh, but it was just sort of like the, uh, something I feel like we all kind of like, it's a subjective thing is no matter how old you get, you feel too old to do some things and you still, you feel like but too young to do other things or whatever. So um, somewhere trying to grasp that, how do I, you know, how do I still, can I still enjoy silly, crazy, fun things? And can I still like, um, can I still be an adult and go to the bank and stuff and open accounts and things of that nature? <laughs> i 
Yeah, the, the background of highlight reel. Um, uh, well, I thought it would be a good idea to write a song about a uh, uh, ailing football player, a uh, future female president, and Jesus. I thought that just seemed like, you know, you know what I mean? Like it seems like such a given, low hanging fruit that somebody hadn't done it till now. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do that. Low hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah just to just to, to get after that. And um, but um, no, I think it was basically on the idea of like, I think it was to sort of have um, to understand, like especially in this like celebrity sort of uh, laden culture or whatever, where we sort of. We, 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 we treat these people at some point, they get to a place where they become like these sort of like plastic, they become these people that we can just like throw darts at on a regular basis as if they're not human or whatever. And like it was trying to strip back the, the humanity of, of a, a football star or whatever that, that people treat them like, you know, we don't, you know, they're just like stats on their, in their fantasy football league or even presidents we just sort of like shoot holes in like they're not human to some respect. Although we may have entered into that equation now. But, um, and then the last one, Jesus, I think the most, the most incredible thing is like, yes, the, the scripture suggests he's fully God, but at the same time, fully human. And, and the fact that he goes and deals with all this stuff on a regular basis and that he and sort of um, dealt with the same, um, you know, the same things that we, we deal with is, uh, that's pretty incredible. Uh, and uh, so that's what how that real and then we're gonna you know try to make it interesting musically as well. This guy makes it all interesting musically. Thanks. <laughs> He tears the roof off so I can see the sunshine. Sometimes he buries me so I can remember my roots. But call me crazy, but I'm here to testify, my friend. Nobody ever, nobody ever loved me so true. I'm telling you, he's so super dumb, super dumb, super dumb. How does incorporating religious themes go against the indie standard? Well, I really don't know. Like, I don't really have. I don't. I, I definitely do not try to um, think too much about it. Honestly, I think the best thing I can do, best thing we can do when we're making music, anybody can do, is just ultimately try to just sort of spill all over the page as, po as fast as possible what they're feeling, what they're going through, what they're thinking about, um, whether it be falling in love, whether it be, um, you know 
thinking about like the, where, the, where the world's at, thinking about like how, how, do, how does my life fit into the ideas of what uh, is there, the creator would have the ideas for, um, these different things, and like trying to just, if I think about it too much, I talk myself out of everything. Everything, because if, like I know it, like if I, like it's with my Twitter account. Like my Twitter account has like a thousand drafts in it. Because I get about a hundred characters and I go, is this stupid? Um, so, and then it just goes into the draft. And then like I te tweet like once a, once a month or something. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like if I do that with music, <laughs> like you just have to go for it. Like just pour it out there. Like just, um, and then to deal with the repercussions l later. And especially my first record um, sort of dealt with a lot of different sort of, sort of figuring out how my faith and coming to new, coming into new faith right before that, before I made that record and like trying to sort of how that works in the reality of the world. Um, and this new record is, um, I feel like deals with a lot of different kinds of themes and stuff and, and deals with trying to sort of sort out um, all that's going on in the sort of the, the culture and different things like that and how I'm trying to deal with that and figure that out. Subscribe to War Memorial's YouTube channel to watch new attic sessions being released every month. Thanks for watching.